Hi everybody, I'm Fran and I'm a librarian at the Hot Pod Public Library. Today we're going to create a decorative seashell wind chime. We live on an island surrounded by beaches and we went down and picked up some seashells and that's where our project started. The project packet inventory includes 16 pre-drilled shells and four pre-drilled decorative accent pieces. 20 or so plastic crystal beads of varying sizes, a fishing line harness with four lines for stringing the shells, and decorative pieces and a pre-drilled mason jaw screw-on cap ring to put the line spaces through. Step one is to lay out your materials and line up your shells and decorative pieces in the order you would like them to hang on your wind chime. Step two, hang your line harness by the loop on any plant hook or by using a coat hanger. Step three is to set the line spacer in place. Thread the lines through the pre-drilled holes followed by a small plastic crystal bead. Thread the line through the loop, then twice loop it around the crystal. Then slide the crystal into place below the line spacer. To mount and secure the crystal, simply run the thread through the bead, then run it through one more time, and then you're going to move the crystal into place wherever you choose so that it click, the shells click, and then you're going to wrap around a loop, put it over the bead, and pull. That will secure it in place. Once all four lines have been threaded through the line spacer, followed by the plastic crystal, slide the crystal under the spacer so the spacer is level and approximately three inches below the bottom of the knotted loop. Once the spacer is in place, create a loop in each line to wrap around the crystal, locking it in place. You are now ready to begin adding your shells. Thread the shells onto the fishing line followed by a crystal with the line threaded twice looping around the crystal to hold the shell in place. Then place your first shells approximately six inches from the spacer. Once the first shells are in place on each of the four lines, ensure they are placed to strike each other when exposed to a breeze. Then lock them in place by creating a loop to lock the supporting crystal in place. Once the first shells are in place, ensure they are going to strike each other when the wind comes. Then lock them in place by creating a loop to lock the supporting crystals in place. This way, the shells will not fall down into the shells below them. The decorative blue seashells have holes in them. 
Now, the one that doesn't have a small hole in it that you have to run through, you can use a bead to keep it from dropping down to the seed to the next shell, just like you did with shells before it. So loop it around, and this will keep the decorative bead right where you want it. Repeat this process for all of the remaining shells. Just remember that they have to be able to hit each other when the breeze comes by. Now, some of the shells have larger holes than others, which is why you have a variety of beads, the crystal beads. So if the hole is large, you need to get yourself a bigger crystal bead because it's allowing the, bead, the shell to stay in place. The ones with the smaller holes, you can use the teeny beads. There's no problem. Once you are finished adding your shells and decorative pieces, double thread the last crystal on each line, adding two extra loops to lock it in place, then threading the line back through the crystal and cutting off the excess. Your wind chime is now complete and ready to be hung. Have fun creating.